Hi, I'm Tanisha. And I'm Candice. And we're here with another segment of What's Going On at Colonial. Last time we were here, we were talking about the different sales that we had uh, going on. But this time we want to specifically talk about our auctions. Um, and our feature is going to be the April 6th and 7th auction. Now this auction is going to be live in Mississauga, Ontario on April 6th and 7th at 5.30 p.m. daylight savings time. Uh, you can also view the auction live at the show uh, from 12 until about 4.30 on Friday and then again on Saturday from 9 till 4.30. So in this auction we have over 1,300 locks throughout the catalog um, and this can be viewed online iCollector but we'll get to all of that. Uh, for those of you on our mailing list you should have received our April catalog. Um, if you haven't, uh, you can phone us or email us and we can send you out a PDF uh, version of that catalog as well so you can see all 1300 items. And this is a 2003 um, non-magnetic P1 cent. It is ICCF certified in MX66. This is an interesting coin because uh, normally these coins are plated in P, uh, but this is a non-magnetic version. Another favorite of mine right now is the 1921 Canada 5 cent coin. Uh, this coin is something that doesn't come around very often and not a lot of people are going to have it in their collection. Following that one, uh, we also have in our to token section the Breton 562. It's a Molson Distillery token. Again, it is ICCS certified in about an EF40. Uh, this is a unique piece of also that doesn't come along very often. And another section in the catalog is an error section. Um, this one is a 1967. It, it is PCDS certified. It's a triple struck silver dollar. So what that simply means is that the coin was struck three times, uh, both on the offers and reverse of the coin. Okay, so leaving our coins and moving over to the banknote section, this section is the largest section in the catalog. Uh, we worked really hard and found a lot of interesting, unique, seldom found pieces. Uh, this example is an 1859. It's a Bank of Upper Canada uh, $4 note. Uh, now there's only four of these that have ever been certified, uh, three of which are in the National Currency Museum. Another great example is this 1882 $4 Dominion of Canada bank note. Uh, this was one of the first notes issued by the Dominion of Canada. Um, an interesting fact about this note, uh, it was issued in an effort for uh, the Dominion to take more control over currency. Uh, this is a 1924 Dominion of Canada $5 note uh, with a portrait of Queen Mary. Uh, this note is an interesting piece because, to my knowledge, there's only a hundred of these in the CPMS registry. Last but not least, and this one is kind of interesting because of the recent news that we've had about, you know, phasing out the $1, $2, and $1,000 note. Uh, we do have here a 1935 uh, Bank of Canada $1,000 note. Um, now this was one of the first notes issued by the Bank of Canada. Um, and I think it is PMG certified. And I think this is a great opportunity to hold on to a piece of history. There are 21 different sections in the catalog, so lots of amazing things. We've added some new categories as well, which I'm excited about. Um, one of which I'm going to have Candace tell you about now. Yeah. is going to feature a lot of Anglehart and Johnson Matthey um, bars. So a lot of mintages listed on these bars um, have been phased out uh, slightly and some um, have predicted maybe only 10% of mintages are still in existence. So first we're going to start off with um, a pair of angle hard uh, art bars. Uh, these were short runs made specifically for uh, companies. Um, so these two were made for Lytton Canada for their 25th anniversary. So you'll receive two bars in this lot. Um, next uh, we also have um, these two scarce bars. They're both uh, angle hard and they're classified as the sixth series. What you'll notice with both of the bars though, however, is that there's two different serial variations. So one has a five digit and one has a six digit number, um, but they are both under the same classifications. 
And then last but not least, as they always say, bigger is always better, we have our Angle Hard 20 ounce bar. This is classified under the second series because of the stampings of the purity. Um, the nines are slightly different than other series of this same bar, and it is in the old pour form. So with this section, we have approximately 25 lots available. Um, so you're going to want to have a look because this is an up and growing market um, that is becoming quite popular. So this is your chance to be able to add these unique items to your collection because a lot of these end up in private collections and don't readily become available back on the market for sale. So with all the items that we've talked about today and the remaining uh, 1,250 lots that we didn't cover today, Candice, how can people bid in the auction and how can they get in touch with us? Okay, so there is a couple ways to bid. Um, like we said, we're going to be live at the Hilton Hotel in Mississauga. Um, so you can become a registered floor bidder and participate live with us. Or you can go online um, through our website under the auctions tab um, and get registered with iCollector and you can place your bids now as most of the items are already up for pre-bidding. So we are always accepting consignments. Um, you can do this with us at our store at 991 Victoria Street North in Kitchener um, or you can um, also mail in your items with a bid sheet that is printable or we can email you upon request. But you can also come into the store um, if you want to see the items live you can come into our store Monday to Friday between 10 and 5. We have a door prize that is going to be available for those that join us in Mississauga so you will, um, when you enter, you will receive a ballot to fill out your information and we will be doing a draw at some point through the auction um, to win a prize of $500 value. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can follow us on all social media platforms for updates on our upcoming auctions and sales like Loa's and Unique's and Deals on Decimal. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can definitely contact us um, and we'll be here to help you out. Thanks again.